All right, we're back, and thankfully the the recording worked out perfectly fine. I was a little. What is? What is? What, what am I looking at right now? What is this? Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but hopefully, it goes away because that'll get annoying very quickly. <laughs> God dang it, man! Stupid Windows notification, messing everything up. Well, now I know not to click out of that. All right, we'll, we'll get you out of here quicker. Uh, please, leave. Expedite off. He'll be out of here before anything lands. I would love for this to go away. I guess we're just going to look at this from now on, everybody. God dang it. <laughs> Hopefully whenever that plane leaves or something, it'll just... What even is that plane? Yeah, I've tried everything to get rid of this, but it just it doesn't want to go away. <laughs> Sadly. I wish it did, but... Oh, look at that. Oh, well, that'll actually be kind of cool for a thumbnail, so let's... Let's actually do that. We'll get rid of the tags. Alright, let's just get ready for it. A little artwork magic going on here. And now you'll see how thumbnails are made. There it goes. And of course he had to be in the way and like... Pop up with his stupid... Oh, I'm ready to take off. God dang it. Alright, we'll just we'll just get it done here. Well, at least this way we don't see the um <laughs> the stupid um tag that's like stuck here. You know what? Let's get a nice picture of the DC six here. We'll just get that as our thumbnail. Or you know what? Actually let's just kinda go over here. And show off the fire a little bit. Oh, yeah. Beaut God dang it. The stupid planes. There we go. We'll just do something like that. And hopefully the plane was in, not in the way there. <laughs> God dang it. Every time I have a thumbnail going on, it's like, oh, here we go. Let me do, uh, let me get ready to take off. All right, let's go back into tower cam here with our lovely um, plane that doesn't even exist. And there's a car coming down the road that has music so loud that I hear him all the way across the street. Holy crap. All right, hang on. Let's try it this time. And turn this off again. <laughs> we will get this. All right. Here it comes. Beautiful. Just get some other options here, just in case, you know, you, you never know. You never do know. All right, who's ready to take off here? Nobody. All right, perfect. And I expedited you off, correct? No, I didn't, but now I did. Let's get you going in a little bit quicker. Let's get you over here faster. And he's leaving. Perfect. He's ready to take off. Mr. Golfstream. And we can expedite you off since you're not going to take too long to get over here. We have the F-27 coming in here. Let's get this stuff done quicker. Oh, get that DC-6 out of here. All right, you can line up DC-10. We'll let that guy kind of go a little bit closer to the end of the runway. Still have no incoming traffic, so things have kind of quieted down at the airport, which I am absolutely okay with. DC-6 should almost be done. Yes, it is. Perfect. Oh, you better get going, F-27. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, you better speed up. Oh, you're good. Oh, my goodness. That was a little, a little too close, let me tell you. Let me expedite you off. Let's get out of here. And we'll make you go a little bit quicker as well. Got the DC-6 that just took off getting out of here. Fantastic. All right. I would make a good air traffic controller if only I could handle the stress. So then you can't be a good air traffic controller then. If you're saying you can be good and then not handle the, the stress, which is like a major part of this... <laughs> the job, then I would say that you can't. Are you... Oh, you're you're landing. Okay. 
Got a little worried there for a second. I'm like, what's happening? Oh, wait, I didn't take you off? Hang on. Okay, you guys all take off, please. Thank you very much. Get out of my airport. Get that DC-10 out of here again. The fire is diminishing. Slowly but surely. All right, so you're you're closer. Let's get you over here quicker. I really wish I could get rid of this. This is so annoying. I'm trying to think of what else we could talk about, because I know I talked about Honolulu International and stuff like that. I talked about prior, you know, flying and stuff like that. And, you know, honestly, it kind of sucks because there wasn't one air show in Hawaii while I was here, which is kind of disappointing. The only time I, I visited Hawaii in October of 2014... Was it? No, maybe 2015. I don't know. Either one of those two years. And that was the only time. And I came at the end. My flight was one of the last ones to get in before the Blue Angels did their routine. And thank goodness for that. Because if you're stuck in that, the planes have to go do circles over the ocean while they do their routine. Which I'm pretty sure that when they're doing it at an active airport, like, you know, Honolulu International, which has a lot of traffic... I think the Blue Angels do a shorter routine because it seemed to be a lot faster because we landed and they were done by the time we got to the parking garage. So I think they might do a shorter one, which is kind of disappointing, especially if you've never seen it before. But um, yeah, I caught the end of that. And that was the only air show that happened while I lived here. Because the last time they, well, obviously the last time they did it was Honolulu International. And they kind of, they used to switch between Honolulu. Then the next year it would be the Marine Corps base. And vice versa, but I guess they just didn't have the time to do an air show at all. Which is always a disappointment, but what can you do, let me tell you. Alright, you can expedite off, because I need you to get fire going here. Ooh, that might be a bad idea. No, he's not going to get over there. We're good. Alright, got that DC-6 over here quicker. Oh, sorry, CL. Or CL probably didn't pay attention to you. You're probably sitting there forever. So we're up to 45 arrivals and 49 departures, and we've only crashed once, which is an accomplishment, I'd have to say. All right, you can go ahead and taxi off. You can expedite off. All right, and we still have no other traffic other than the DC-6 coming up, which I'm going to go ahead and let you both take off. I know the A320 is still going around the last corner, but we'll get him out before the DC-6 comes back. You know, just thinking about the time that I've been here in Hawaii, it, the, the two years that I've been here have gone by so quickly. It's not even funny how fast it went by. I mean, just re like these past few years have just gone by. Like It's hard to believe that it's now, when this is out, August of 2017 already. It just seems like yesterday was New Year's, and now we're already well past the halfway point of the 2017 year and we're almost going towards 2018 and it just it just amazes me how fast time has gone here so I don't know they've they always told me that time goes by slow in Hawaii it certainly was the opposite the entire time we were here like it's just like it's oh it's 2016 oh it's 2017 oh wow we're leaving and it's almost 2018 already it's just it's amazing I mean I guess how the channel has grown while I've been here has helped speed things up as well. I mean, it's crazy to see where this channel is, and who knows, maybe at this point we might be at 10,000 or over 10,000. That'd be awesome. But right now we are at 5,000 or 5,000, 9,512 subscribers when I'm recording this, and it's July 25th. So we'll see where we are when this goes up. It'd be awesome if we reach that, but I'll be surprised. I mean, I'd be surprised either way. I mean, <laughs> I'd be all right with it going over 10,000. Don't get me wrong. All right, get that golf stream out of here. Let's line you up. Honestly, you can take off. That golf stream will be off by then. Ooh, running into the, quite a little pickle here. Oh, actually, no, the A320 will definitely get in front of that, so that's fine. All right, so not quite the pickle as expected, so we're fine. <laughs> all right, you can go normal speed. You're way behind that plane now, which is good. Everything else is clear so far. Let's expedite you up. Whoops. Expedite you off. 
And then you can go faster again. And he can just go off at normal speed. Oh, you're ready to go. DC-10 should be ready to go here in a few seconds. Okay, oh, okay, four seconds. Apologies, everybody. Oh, I I don't know why I pushed that so early. I, I got really, I don't know. <laughs> I cut that one a little way too close, let me tell you. All right, you can take off. You can take off, too. You're going to beat out this DC-6. Perfect. All right, so still going quite well so far. It's been a few minutes. Um, the fire is almost at the brim of the hill there. So there goes the 737 and the A320 is leaving as well. Everybody's off the runway. Perfect. And we can expedite you off. And the runway is going to be clear for anybody that wishes to take off, which we have three aircraft wanting to do so. Castle Gar Airport is key to beating an out-of-control local fire. Well, of course, we're the only ones doing anything, so you know what? Local news, get your crap together. How about that? All right, you can immediate take off because there's no air traffic anywhere close to you. You know what, DC-10, I'm feeling a little bit risky here. Let's just go ahead and try to let you get taken off as well. How about that? Oh, yeah, you have plenty of time. Holy crap. It's not even risky at all. Get that DC-6 out of here. I just realized we have two DC-6s. I don't know why I just now noticed that. I think what if should have been done with this is it would have slowly added more fire... Um, response like more fire aircraft from other regions and it slowly kind of just comes into the airport and refuels and gets ready to kind of just control that and I know I said this already but I'd like to see helicopters like land you know and then you can tell them oh you take off too and you fight the fire and all that kind of stuff just like cool little additions to that I think would be a nice change to it um, I think the DC-6 got there before the A320 but I could be wrong I've been wrong every single time. Yep. Been wrong every single time. How about that? I'm doing fantastic with guessing who's first. All right, let's get that A320 over here quicker. Get that going faster. And you go faster. Actually, I don't want to do that because you're going to catch up right to that. I want to keep you guys at the same speed. This airport rocks. Whoops, not supposed to be using my phone during flight. You know, that stuff always, like, interests me, too. You know, airplane mode on devices and stuff like that. Because it, it can prevent, um, you know, disruptions with the communications of the cockpit and stuff like that. And I've never really looked into it, but is it really a thing that can happen? Like, is it true that it can affect with the radio? I've never really paid much attention to it, but I feel like... It'd be fine if people... I mean, I guess if everybody's using their phone at the same time, it can create some issues. But I feel like if it's just one or two people using it, would it really affect the cockpit's communication? Because I feel like it wouldn't. But I, I could be wrong. I'm not really too s certain on that. But I guess most people use their devices, so the, f the chances of that actually happening are greater than... So... I'm going to have to slow you down, DC-10. You're kind of a little too close. I'm going to have to slow you down as well. You're you're too close here. All right, I'm going to make you go faster again. Because I want you to get in front of the 737. You can get out of here, A320. Just go. You can beat out a CL-21. You can do it. I don't know I had an accent there. <laughs> I don't know what I did there. All right. All right, so 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 1.4, perfect. We'll expedite you off. Because you need to get out of here. Oh, please get out. Woo. Oh, that was as close as it can be, let me tell you. All right, you can go normal speed again. You can go normal speed, and the air traffic is clear. We can go ahead and get rid of all of you over there. I know you're ready. Okay, local news posting the same thing they posted before. All right, line up. Let's expedite you off. And you can expedite off as well, even though it really doesn't matter anymore. All right, DC-6, 2.3 miles out. 
You can take off, and you can take off. Get out of my sight. Ooh, boy. All right, all right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's happening here? 2.8, um, 2.1. All right, that CL21 should still beat him out. He's going the same speed. There's way too much stuff clumping up over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Slow down, slow down. You need to slow down, too. CL21. Ooh, boy. All right, things are getting a little chaotic up there in the air. Let's not do that, please. I really thought the the CL would be fine because they were going the same speed, so I don't know why he caught up like that. All right, we should still be fine, though, thankfully. All right, we're going to be a little bit clumped up here. Oh, he's... Okay, good. We're, we're fine. It's spaced out just enough. To where this won't be an issue. Which I am okay with. Well, alright. Everything has calmed down now. We're just loading and just getting all this other traffic out of here while we're waiting here. Now I just needed this F-27 to get out of the way here. And DC-10's ready as usual. This F-27 is just obnoxious. <laughs> it's like, just get out of here, please. I don't have time for you. All right, and then line up. Let's get him ready to go. DC-10's ready and taxiing. We have no fire aircraft flying out at this current moment. He can take off right now. He'll get out of here by then. I wonder why he made it to where the DC-10, like, taxis over here. Because then it just clogs everything up here anyway, so it's like, <laughs> what's the point? I don't get it. All right, let's get that 737 down here really quick. We have almost three minutes left until the 60-minute marker has um, come upon us. We're at 75 arrival and 78 departures. There we go. And see, this is what I'm talking about. If they would just all be on the taxiway, this would not be an issue. So I'm not entirely sure why they use that other area there. It's kind of weird. All right, let's get the DC-6 around quicker. We need to kind of have a better turnaround rate for that because it's a little bit lacking at the moment with fire protection. All right, we're approaching the last minute. Let's get you off the runway as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Let's speed you up. We got an A320 coming in. Um, A320 beat an A320. I think we can. Let's hope you can because he's coming in pretty hot, let me tell you. Oh, let's get that F-27 out of here. So I think almost all of our lovely fire aircraft are out, except for this DC-6, which I don't think we're going to be getting out in time to get over to the fire by the time it gets to the 60-minute mark, which is a shame, but I still feel like we did a pretty good job. I wonder if it'll show you, like, a specific percentage of fire um, taken out. That'd be kind of a cool feature, I'd say. All right, the last 15 seconds, everybody. Take a last look of, at our lovely airport. It's kind of sad that it's over. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it just keeps going. Oh. I thought it said something about how much can you get in 60 minutes. So how do you end it? Does it just keep going until you finish it all? Can't submit score until fire is extinguished. Holy crap, that'll take a while then. Oh man, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I thought I was done after this. Oh man, alright, well, that was unexpected. But I'm going to have to leave it here, everybody. Pretty busy at this current moment in time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I feel like we basically took care of this fire. So you know what? I think the city will live. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed some more Airport Madness content. And I will talk to you guys next time. See ya.